creamy yeah. and everything. But right now, you yes. didn't have this when he first came in. No. So you developed this. Mm -hmm. So he's got his head down. He's waiting for you. He's paying attention. He's looking around. But he's like, okay, there's my mom. And I, and I, well, okay. for now, you know, but I had to earn that. Like, you exactly. saw that, right? Yes. But you know what? Sometimes, every time, for a year, you're gonna have to earn that. Yeah. No. Then, you'll see it, you'll see it shift. The, the Morgan mare that the lady bought from, um, that we had down here, Bridget. Oh, the rescue, yeah. The rescue mare. It took a solid year. In February of this year, all of a sudden, the mayor goes, okay, you've been playing fair with me all this time, bang. And wow. she's a freaking completely different horse. And, <laughs> had, and, so I, and I had a little talk with her, because uh, they were, Kelly was very frustrated and was gonna give her up. And she goes, I'm like, you're gonna blow this deal. And this is the best deal that you could ever have in your life. I said, you got two little kids. And she was never like that with the little kids. Oh. She was giving the little kids, the little kids were riding her. It was the, um, the mom, mm -hmm. busting her chops. <laughs> and I'm like. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, and, and we persevered and now it's just like, whoosh. Um, you know, when I told you that he's a project horse? Yeah. He's a project. Yeah, I know. Big <laughs> project. But look at him stand here yeah. with you. Oh, he's so great. And so you see glimpses of what it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and he is teaching you massive horse handling skills. You, you can work with this horse. You can work with anybody. <laughs> okay. So you have to look at it as that he sent you to college. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say and um, the stuff that you're doing with him, which would be too much for Griff, works very nicely for him. Okay. It's okay, he, he can manage this. Yeah. You know, just try not to, the only thing that, um, watch on slippery ground. Okay, yeah. Because if he does the splits behind, he'll lock that hip back up. And, um, and now the birds are scaring him. And where did he go? He went closer to you. So what does it tell you? He's looking at you to keep him safe. He didn't mow you down yeah. when these birds are all flying around behind him. He looked at him and then he moved closer to you and he's like, okay, she'll keep me safe from the <laughs> evil bird. <laughs> so that's, that is huge. Yeah. You know, because six months ago he would have mowed you down. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. But because he's taking care of himself. Yeah. He's like every man for himself and get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. Now he is like, oh, down, 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 down. Okay. <laughs> All right. He doesn't seem to be worried about the evil bird. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then he, he went. <sighs> yeah. yeah. So these are little things that you need to be looking at on as to improvement yeah. you know and i know because this he he has been in a period before you got him of every man for himself and now you're being a much stronger leader the fact that you could bring him through the people door was huge you know i mean the t-touch clinic you went to bring him in the arena he's world and left <laughs> I mean, you know, that long ago. No, huh. not just November. Yeah. You know, huh. five months ago. So this is huge thing. And you know, the screaming and the yelling. You don't get your undies in a bunch about it. Just keep uh, listen to me. Listen yeah. to me. Focus. Focus. And be the leader that he needs. And then, then it'll all click together. <laughs> you know. So he's what you know, look what he's doing. He's watching all this stuff that's going on down there. Yeah. All these juicy little birds. And <laughs> and yet he is he is 
put you between him and the bird. <laughs> Very subtly. Do you see that? Yeah. So how do you know he's not just saying, hey, the birds are going to get one of us. It might need to be you. you know? <laughs> no, because he's checking in with her with, for reassurance. And, um, and if that's the way he was feeling, he, he would have mowed her down when they, there were three of them that flew up right behind him. Right. And he would have mowed her over. Hmm. So, and he didn't. And he just moved closer to her for her to protect him. And then now he's put her between him and the birds. <laughs> so, and, but he's standing with her. He's not standing over here going, you guys birds eat her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's what horses do. Oh, hell, every man for himself. I'm going as far away from him as I can get. And you have to take care of yourself. No, he's not doing that. He's coming. She's getting to be his comfort point. Uh -huh. And it's all about watching his reactions and, and his body language. Remember you said he stood at the gate here this past week? Yeah. You let him go. There was one day I let him go, and oh. he just stood there. Watch me leave. And now he's yawning, which he's, he's letting go some stuff, which is, you know, you bring horses out to work. Yeah. They don't do this. They don't do this. And, I mean, they don't stand there and yawn and yawn. He's letting stuff go. You, you, he wasn't yawning before you got him. Pay attention to me. And this is, you know, my time. You know? Yeah. So. Uh, like, do you, I mean, do you think this is just his personality or not that it really matters? What did, like, did he have a bad experience as a baby or something? No, no, not okay. as far as we know. Okay. But what he had was that he loved Rick. Mm -hmm. He, okay, he loved the people that adopted him from Haas as a yearling. Okay. Now I don't know what they did with him. If they, he was a little pushy when we got him as three. Mm -hmm. They had him from a yearling to two to three. Mm -hmm. Then we got him to get him started under saddle. He was a little reactive, but not, not overly so. The more time we put in on him, the better he was. My handyman and him got attached to each other, so Rick adopted him. Rick was riding him in a western saddle all over. The one young lady that leased him was jumping him out in our field. It, he, he wanted to be Emmy's horse, and Rick screwed that up. Um, but he was Rick's horse first. Uh -huh. And then, so he's had his heart broke a couple times. So, when you get them like this, they, they really are like, okay, are you gonna stand in the fire with me? And are you gonna still love me even if I'm naughty? And I'm gonna be, a shit of a horse and and then if you play true with me then okay but he's had his heart broke a bunch of times so um and there when you came to see him there's a glimmer there and what i got from him was i think this could work so if there was no glimmer, then you wouldn't have it. Yeah. So, but he's making you, he's, he's pushing hard. You know, you think of him as an adoptive child. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these ones that they adopt out of Russia and the Ukraine, they, in the orphanages, they're all, all these babies in cribs. And the, and the nurses say, yeah, they cry for a couple days until they realize nobody's mm -hmm. coming for them. Yeah. And then they don't. Mm -hmm. So, and so, you know, they get these little kids, people adopt them, and these little kids are non-communicative, have social disorders, they don't listen to anybody because they've been taking care of themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is where you're at. Mm -hmm. And right now is where you need to stand in the fire and you need to be his leader. And the bond is 
is started because you're playing fair with him. You're not taking a two by four to him. You're not um, beating a little crap out of him for mm -hmm. every little thing. You're asking him to be a reasonable guy, yes. which is not unreasonable. <laughs> okay? okay? So that's where you're at. Okay. And uh, you're, you know, you have six more months to go. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You know, so it's, um, and he, you, the work that you guys have been doing has is, is been good because he's much improved. So this I don't count. He's going to test you and he's going to see if you're going to actually make him do it today. Right. And if, you know, you have people, they'll say, oh, every time I bring him out, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So with those horses, you just have to, yeah, it's the same thing. Well, we'll just do it again. Mm -hmm. And you just keep, and then if you do it right, that goes away. Yeah. You know, I had the cowboy trainers. Well, every time I brought her out for rider, it's the same thing. It's the same, like you can't learn. Well, no, it's because you're stressing the crap out of her. And so what she's doing is she's just going away and not learning. We, we had this mare going, walk, trot, canter under saddle within two weeks just by being soft, you know, and not scaring shit out of her. Yeah. You know, so he just, um, he has not been abused, but he has not been, um, his heart hasn't been taken care of. Yeah. He's really sensitive. He's sad. He's sad, Yeah. You know, I mean, they're, they wear their heart on their sleeve and they're, and they're nerves on the outside of their hair. <laughs> yeah. You know, and right. so, you know, but this, this is huge, mm -hmm. you know. And so then he, you know, it's good, you, you know, he pushes a little bit and you're just like, yeah, no, this is my space. And then he's like, okay. Yeah. So, um, the more that you make him feel safe with you, and how you do that with horses is you just play fair. Horses have a great sense of fairness. Mm -hmm. And they will forgive you the occasional mistake. Yeah, you taunt them for something that was your fault. Yeah. They'll forgive you that. But if you do it consistently, they'll go away. Yeah. You know, when I, you've all seen horses that are like that. People have them out, they're not in their eyes. They're standing there, I call them dead soul horses. They stand there, and they'll do what they want, but there's nobody home. Mm -hmm. And those are the kind of horses that die young, mm -hmm. they get hurt, they, they get, you know, ailments, colic, because they're like depressed people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they get that way for various reasons. They get, you know, because they've, they've been mishandled and they're too good a guy to fight back. There, or they've had their, they belong to somebody in their heart and they got given away or given up. It just depends, you know? 